This is a story about a girl whose father is wealthy and her mother is sick. The mother dies and the girl visits her grave often. The father remarries a woman who has two daughters, all of which treat the girl poorly. They force the girl to cook and clean and even sleep near the fireplace and in the cinders, which is why they call her Cinderella. The father goes to a fair one day and upon request, brings back Cinderella a hazel twig, which she plants at her mother's grave. The hazel tree grows and produces birds that grant Cinderella wishes. Meanwhile, the king holds a three-day festival so that the king's son, the prince, can select a bride from among all of the young girls of the land. The two stepdaughters prepare for the festival and laugh at the notion that Cinderella would even think about going since she is so dirty from the housework. The stepmother says that Cinderella can attend the festival if she can pick lentils from a pile of ashes. Cinderella calls on the birds to help her and they succeed. However, the stepmother rejects Cinderella's act and they attend the festival without her. Cinderella makes a wish at her hazel tree and birds bring her a beautiful gold and silver dress. She attends the festival and the prince enjoys her company by only dancing with her. However, at the end of the evening, Cinderella runs away from the prince. The next night, Cinderella asks the hazel tree for another dress and again, birds appear with another beautiful dress. After a night of dancing with the prince, Cinderella runs away from the prince again. On the third day, Cinderella asks the hazel tree for another dress and again, birds arrive with a beautiful dress. The prince and Cinderella dance again, but at the end of the night, Cinderella again runs away. However, the prince covers the stairs with tar and one of Cinderella's shoes gets stuck. The prince, now with one shoe, searches for the woman whose foot fits. The first stepdaughter fits the shoe after cutting off her toe and the prince takes her away. However, the prince realizes that the shoe doesn't really fit and returns her home. The second stepdaughter fits the shoe after cutting off part of her heel and the prince takes her away. But again, he returns after seeing that the shoe doesn't really fit. When Cinderella tries the shoe, it fits and they decide to get married. In the end, the prince and Cinderella get married and the two stepdaughters have their eyes plucked out by birds. Don't forget to subscribe for more Minute Book Reports and thanks for watching.